What's up everybody? It's Lee here. I'm the bartending photo boothing rental guy and today we're going to talk about flambe cocktails. So I've said before and I'm a firm believer in this that uh, your bartending service is nothing unless you have add-ons. 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 Get your add-ons here. Oh yeah, no one's here. We're in a pandemic. Uh, you just can't make the money providing a service alone if you want to scale it into something bigger than uh, just making money off of a service. Add-ons. So uh, one of the offerings that I do are flambe coffees. So basically, uh, have you ever lit alcohol on fire and poured it in a stream into a glass? That's precisely what I'm doing. Uh, I have worked at a fine dining restaurant for about 10 years before I ever started a bartending service. And at this fine dining restaurant, they had uh, the old school flambe service. So I took that old school flambe service and I adapted it into my flair bartending business. And it's quite a lucrative add-on. Uh, this past weekend I went and did a wedding and it was an extra uh, I think $400 add-on just for coffees. I, I mean I did supply the glassware, the napkins, the coffee, um, the sugar, the lemons. But still they supplied the alcohol and it was a great add-on so it was one amongst uh, a lot of other add-ons and it's just one more thing to get the bill up. So if you're looking for things to add for your bartending business, Flambe Coffees is an excellent option. So I'm gonna show you what it's all about. Let's go. All right, so I'm here at the event and I've got a lemon there and I'm just coating the rims of the glasses with the lemon and now I'm sugaring them. Once they're sugared, I'm just toasting the sugar onto the glass I could have done it a little better here. You almost want it to caramelize onto the rim of the glass. And you're also heating up the glass a little bit. You don't want it to uh, have hot liqueur going straight into a cold glass because that never ends well. So it's heated a little bit, then when the hot liqueur goes into it, it uh, burns a little bit longer and it doesn't uh, uh, when hot meets cold, make a glass go pfft. So my first ingredient is Cointreau here, which uh, lights nicely under fire. Anything with a uh, heavy alcohol content usually goes pretty good, but Cointreau, uh, when it burns, it has a wonderful flavor that the people will smell it around you. As you'll notice here, I'm heating up a glass. So when the liqueur goes into it, it just ever so slightly heats it up. I swirl it around because that gets it hot quicker and then I'm taking the next glass and heating it up. You never want to pour the cold liqueur or the hot liqueur into a cold glass. I can't say this enough. Exploding glasses will happen and have happened to me before. As you see it just catches on fire right away when everything's nice and hot. Uh, the vapors ignite and then it's just like pouring water back and forth. You just uh, think of the fire that way. Uh, maybe practice with some water first doing this back and forth between two glasses. Um, another thing I should mention here, it's important that the glass uh, has a thicker glass so that uh, it doesn't shatter as easy and that it also has a lip. You see that glass has a lip, it makes it way easier to pour in. So I start close and then I pull away from the glass. That's my technique and it works fantastic. So cinnamon next, it, uh, it sparkles, right? So I'm always like, when I put it in, I'm like, ooh, there's some gunpowder. People like that joke, so it makes them laugh. People like corny jokes, give them some corniness. Okay, so next we are going to add the alcohols here. So this is a specialty coffee, my secret recipe, which is no longer secret now that I'm giving it all to you. So we're adding some Hungarian golden pear into the coffee. A little bit of Kahlua. Some amaretto. A little bit of triple sec. Um, they were supposed to use golden pear, but, um, or sorry, not golden pear, Grand Marnier, but they Triple sec was the only thing that was available. So triple sec, creme marnier, whatever. So I'm just adding coffee there at the back. The plug-in wasn't uh, 
close to the area so we had to plug the coffee maker in near the back of the event so running for coffee was annoying but uh, that's what we had to do that's one thing that you also want to do keep in mind at events that coffee uh, machines take up a little bit more power so you don't want to put it any place where it will short out a plug constantly okay so next whipped cream I always like to flip it around show show some flare moves while I'm doing the whipped cream Maraschino cherries. I forgot my spoon, so I had to grab some tongs really quick to put the maraschino cherries on the drink. And then just one more little stream of fire on top. Um, I did just coin troll on this one, but um, you can mix some clue and coin troll together and it will light up still. And then you can have that Kahlua coin troll flavor instead of just the coin troll flavor. And it's more so just for added effect because people like to see fire again, as much fire as possible to add to the show. And uh, oftentimes I like to use cloth napkins, but uh, I forgot some cloth napkins on this one. So I just took some three ply paper napkins and rolled them up and then just tied them in a little knot because those glasses get super hot. But uh, a napkin, three ply napkin works great. And that's the flambe coffee. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, you can drop it in the comments and uh, yeah. So first things first, film yourself doing one and then put it on your website so that when people are filling out their form and picking things to book you to add onto their bartending service, they know exactly what it's all about. Um, and from that point, figure out which coffee is the best for them. So give them the option between a few different coffee recipes and uh, let them know that you can only provide one because it just gets too confusing if you do a whole bunch of different specialty coffees.